Now we're working new details on a local mosque attacked by a vandal. The sign outside was broken in half and part of it was stolen. Tonight, this house of worship is asking police and the FBI for protection. From the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnick is live outside the North Spitfield Police Headquarters. Well, Nora Smithfield police say they're treating this as a case of vandalism and only vandalism at this point. But the people at that mosque say, well, they're worried in light of recent national events. The surveillance video is very grainy, but you can make out a man walking over to the mosque sign and police say vandalizing it and then leaving with half of it in tow. We find it shocking ourselves as well. Imam Ikram ul Haq of the Masid al-Islam Mosque in North Smithfield says it happened around 3.30 Sunday morning. And first he hit his head into the sign and then he fell, fell down. Then he got up and he took one minute break and then he picked up something and he broke the sign. Now the mosque on Sales Hill Road has called the FBI, state and North Smithfield police. They say they want extra protection and say they're fearful. In the wake of a mosque burning in Missouri yesterday and a killing spree at a sick center in Wisconsin, they're fearful this is a hate crime. There may be a wave of some sort of anger or some sort of hate towards Muslims or who look like Muslims and that may, be, uh, that, that may be a result of that. The imam also tells us they're beefing up security themselves, adding extra cameras and keeping a watch out at the building that's been there for 18 years. And the U.S. Attorney's Office has relayed this information to the FBI, but as of right now, this remains a North Smithfield police investigation and again a case of vandalism. Reporting live from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom from North Smithfield, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.